We are back with Raster Review number 18. Now, I know it's been a little bit. What is it, like a couple weeks? Yeah, it's definitely been, um, it's been a bit. <laughs> but as you guys know, it is crucial for, you know, me to stay focused in school as well as just basically making videos of just, just my tournaments and just my meets because anything outside that, it just becomes extra noise for myself. So, um, but with the summer, heck, we got a lot of time on our hands. And I'm not saying I'm not busy, but what I am saying is prepare for a lot more long form videos just to come out and an array of lots of different content. Of course, we're gonna continue the WrestleWorks. We're gonna continue the podcasts. I know we haven't like even put out a Clash podcast in a little bit now, but because we got me going around to different like wrestling camps and clinics, of course, kind of that hinders it. But regardless, it's good to be back here today for another wrestling review. Now before we hop in, shout out to Rise Supplements. Now a little tip from the creatine, this is the electric lemonade one. I actually will put this in like a big gallon jug like this and you just drink it throughout the day. Of course there's different flavors too you can get, but let's say if you don't want to put that in your pre-workout or protein powder, that's one thing that I personally do and the goals look like we're on some steroids this summer. So of course getting your protein in just like this, vanilla peanut butter. Of course there's tons of flavors, they just came out with the cosmic brownie too. And you can actually use code Caden, you're going to get 15% off any supplement from Rise and it helps out the channel so I can make more content like this. But regardless, let's get into the video. So first up, we got Tyree here. He will be the wrestler on the right. Now, I think right off the bat, he is. He's gonna start off with a slide by a little bread and butter action on here. So definitely that, that was great. That was actually exactly how I do it with that over tie, um, you know, elbow to the ceiling, reach around for the tricep. Let's see a nice little mat return here if we can bring him to the mat or just hold on to him. Okay, now now this this is a mistake. See, he already, he already got a stall call for this. And actually, this reminds me of my stalemates match previously in the summer last year is I kind of held on too long, and I didn't think... I, w I usually play that smarter. But if you're not going to mat return a guy, let him go because you do not want to get that stall call because especially in big matches, those are going to add up, and you're, you don't want to be giving your opponent away free points, which is not good at all. Um, but let's see. A lot of, like, a lot of like work, from the, work from space here, but you get in a nice double leg and man, just power him down on through. You hit him with that, you almost like went up top to like get him guessing that you're gonna go in the hand fight, but then you drop levels on him. Nice little JB double in there, lifting his feet off the mat. So I wonder wonder what kind of age he's, I think I, think I would say this is middle school, if I'm not, I believe this is middle school, if, if I'm not wrong. But um, again, mat return, let's get a nice little mat return. Can we lift, even drop to a leg here, you got short time. Even just dropping to a single leg, you get the nice mat return there. Um, this guy kind of reaches back, but here we go. Next period here, you're starting on top. Again, guy gets to his feet. We need a move that we can stop him off the whistle, whether that's going to an ankle, getting a tight waist chop. I, did you get another Did you get another stalling there too? I think I might've missed another stalling there if I'm not mistaken. But here we go. Uh, are you working at like, looks like a little claw right in there. Uh, but yeah, definitely we need like a first move. We need a move stopper so that we don't need to get him on his feet right away. Um, but yeah, just, just running out of bounds. That honestly might be another solid call coming up too. So you have to be weary on that. Have to practice your mat returns. So again, whether it's standing from behind, you're gonna get a lift, dropping down to a single leg, running in front and finishing the double leg, or honestly just letting him up and taking him down. Cause you took him down twice, you know, dang near with ease. Every time you shot, you scored. So, um, but we're gonna continue. This guy, oh, he looked for almost like a Peterson there. He's gonna get the reversal. That was a very nice move on him. Yeah, again, that's like give up one, not two. And now, now you're down and within, you know, a couple points that way. But we're going to escape here and hopefully we can get back in the legs. As I say that, another double leg. One thing that Tyree does amazing, he doesn't stop on his knees or he doesn't get like sprawled out. He wants to finish on his feet. And a lot of you younger guys, even, even guys like me, like sometimes I always think when I shoot that, heck, okay, I'm going to have to get onto a scramble because the guy's going to sprawl. Sometimes guys just won't sprawl and you got to finish on your feet. And if you can finish on your feet, that finish rate is a lot higher. Now we got Dan Thompson. He's going to be on the left here. Wow. Straight on double leg right to his back. Beautiful. Look at the, okay, first off, look at the ref's mullet too. You gotta give respect to that mullet. Uh, but beautiful double leg. He, as you can see, when he was in that shot, he was already thinking about the turn to get him on his back. So that, that's, that's a really, really good transitional wrestling. And let's see, are we gonna get the flat man? Are we gonna get the flat man? Let's see it. He's, that's tight. That almost looks like you can almost get a jujitsu choke in there. Let's see it. And he gets the fall. Singlet's coming down, but that's all right. Get on up. Are you, ooh, are we hitting a celly? We hitting, the, oh, just, just, just some respect there. Next up, we got Zeke. Let's see it. Zeke wearing the A6 here. 
Nice. Got got a little got a little hand fighting in there from space. Dropping down to the levels here. All right. So we're trying to fin finishing our on our on our knees there because he he sprawled out. Let's see if he can come out the back. Keep keep wrestling. That's good. Keep moving your feet. Keep moving your feet. One thing you can do here. Instead of keep going forward, you can put your head out onto the outside. Instead of continuing to going through the middle, you can just sit back and put your head on the opposite side. Uh, but great job, keep moving from bottom here. And what the heck? I don't know what that was, but you just caught him on his back, and that was beautiful. Looks like oh, he's gonna cut him. He's like, all right, I want more. Bring him to <laughs> bring him to our feet. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, in a nice little double again. Man, this other kid's wearing some old shoes too. Some old uh, some old Adidas. Let's see, are we gonna work a turn here? Maybe a cross wrist. Oh my gosh, those cross faces are killer, bro. My goodness. Okay, we are, okay, that's a, that's a flat man if I've ever seen one, that's it. He, that guy does not wanna be there. That other guy that Zeke was wrestling did not wanna be there. We got Vincent next. Vincent, let's see a sprawl here. Guy gets on the leg, great defense. He's working in a whizzer, lots of hit pressure, and he's gonna get a nice head in the hole. Let's see if we can keep moving here. If it doesn't work the first time, we can do it again or work on something else. See, he did a great job of pulling that elbow up, which made it like a lot harder for that guy to really defend. So, oh my gosh, we're just working right for a cradle right away. We're looking to end it. Cartwheel over the top, bring it on back. Wow, there we go. That's going to be it. That is going to be it. Are we going to get another flat man in the episode? So, yeah, one thing you can do from this cradle, you can actually cartwheel over the top, over the top of your head, which makes it super tight. But regardless, oh, that's not going to matter. Ref calls that fast pin. Oh, nice little celly at the end too. All right, we got, we got, we got, we got Audrina Summers. Let's see, let's see what we can do here. In the hand fight here now, going head to head, like me, not ear to ear. Beautiful little, little double leg there. Shoots the outside, almost cuts, cuts around there. We gotta start running our feet, run our feet, run our feet. There you go, keep wrestling, keep wrestling. Either we're thinking about coming about the back door or we're putting the head out, remember, on the opposite side there. Um, but great job, tripoding up, trying to get closer in on the leg. Opponent is working in a butch butcher leg here, but it looks like you're looking looking on the snake and spin. Oh my goodness, that was beautiful. Oh no, no way. How did he not, he he had to give that takedown, right? I, I would have given the takedown there, um, but he did he did really kick out there. So, you know, on, on a, I don't know, benefit of the, of the doubt there. Here we go, back in the tripod. This guy's working ahead in the hole. There we go, grabbing a leg. Let's see if we, we can get some, uh, see if we can get some more points here. Beautiful mat return on the far mat, by the way. That was beautiful. So this is where we want to suck, sucker drag. If he goes all the way across, that's when we sucker drag. Oh no, it looks like we're, we're getting, oh my goodness, looks like we're getting cow catcher to our back here. Oh, nice bridge. You gotta keep fighting, gotta keep fighting, gotta keep fighting. Yeah, keep, keep fighting, keep fighting. There you go, there you go, there you go. Uh oh, he's sink sinking in a, ha a bar here. What you gotta do with that right hand, you gotta grab your own hand and reach in front. That's tough though. Let's see. Yeah, we gotta reach that, reach that shoulder up. You gotta get your hand above your shoulder there. Man, but that's gonna be tough. Let's see if we can almost maybe Peterson roll through here. Jumps on over. Oh, that's clutch. Now you got, how do you have him in the bar now? No way. That was actually, that was, that was amazing. That was clutch. Oh, that's illegal. That was illegal, but it's fine. It's fine. We're going to continue working in the half here. There we go. Yeah. I, if I was in that position, I'd be so mad that I got, just got reversed and I got, I got put in the, put in a the chicken wing then, but here we go. Another double from space. Maybe let's try to set that up a little bit more, whether we're circling. Oh my goodness. Going out the back door. This guy's just kicking away. Another double leg, man. I'll tell you what, that is, that is aggressive and relentless attitude. So kudos to you on that. This guy's working in, what is that? Three quarter Nelson there. That's gonna be tough for a wizard. Gets the ankle, can we secure the two? There's gonna be two. All right, let's see, I think you're, I think, are you down by two right now? I think so. I think if I'm reading that scoreboard right. Um, but again, I mean, I haven't seen this guy shoot the whole match. Let's see it, let's see it. And on a leg, we gotta circle up here. We gotta circle up, look to scramble. This is, he's gonna get two. Uh-oh, straight over the top. Goes for the half. Man, what what we gotta fight yet? Yeah, this is just when you gotta be tough here. Bridge, bridge, bridge. Way to keep kick over, kick over, kick over. Good fight, good fight. Now we gotta build to our base, work on hand control, and get out here. 
We got a fine hand control. Looks like you're in a nice quad pod. Oh no. Yeah, you got it. You just got to keep moving. You can't really um, stay put, especially we got short time left. And looks like that is going to be the match. Definitely, definitely a lot of a lot of resiliency in that match. Now that's going to wrap up Raston Review number 18. So now my goal of the Raston Reviews of a kind of little schedule, I'm going to try to post a Raston Review either every Monday or Friday. And then you guys saw we've been kind of making some like more uh, podcast like clips that we're going to be uploading here as kind of main videos on the channel. So we're going to have like one's Monday, one's Friday. We're going to do one of them is a Raston Review and then one of them is, uh, is like a podcast clip of some of like our favorite moments. And then another episode would be, you know, like a Wednesday or just like a random day of, you know, a actual like wrestling video whether it's going to a tournament or you know we're going to be filming like you know across the country with all all sorts of top wrestlers so i'm really looking forward to that uh just getting into that aspect but uh the summer is young but guys it goes fast and if there's one thing i would say have a goal have a direction something that you can really shoot for this summer because if not you're just going to drift away your summer you're going to wake up you're going to go on tiktok sure you might go to work and do all sorts of things but really have something that you are aiming to hit because if you don't have something you're aiming to hit it's, it's going to be a fast summer and you're not going to accomplish it. So remember, whatever it is, figure it out, whether that is maybe still training for that state title, national title, but even a short-term goal. Have a short-term goal that's going to help you out. But that's going to end off this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, shout out to the patrons who support me over on the Patreon. We'll see you guys next video. Call me, girl. I know you missed the way I hold your hips, so call me.